I'm Greg Nibbler and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, is Apple going to go from iPhone 6 right to iPhone 7? Plus, Intel's ludicrous speed SSD drive and Furious 7 sends Paul Walker out with a bang. Well, a lot of bangs, actually. Apple's iPhone 6 is a huge hit, but the rapid pace of technological change in the mobile phone market may mean that Apple may skip the S version and go straight to number 7. That's the feeling of some tech watchers anyway. Speculation is that the changes and upgrades in the next iPhone will be so dramatic it won't qualify as the usual S refresh. What would be new? A new force touchscreen, possible changes in the iOS interface, a dual lens DSLR quality camera system with zoom, maybe even a completely new A9 processor. The sizes of the 6 series will likely stay the same, but with all those other changes, it may not stay a 6. So, think your shiny new solid state hard drive is fast? Well, it is, but Intel just gave us a peek at the future of storage, and so far, all we can say is, wow, it's really, really fast. Problem is, the new Intel 750 series drive is so fast, current connection and bus technologies slow it down. So instead of a SATA connection, it uses a PCIe connection like a video card. How fast is it? Let's just say you could copy a 4 gig high def movie in about 5 seconds. Best of all, you can buy this new hard drive right now. It's a thousand bucks for 1.2 terabytes, but as you know, high speed comes at a premium. It's Friday and that means movie night for a lot of people and we know many of you will be in line for Furious 7, the latest installation of the Fast and Furious franchise. But this one is special as it's the last with Paul Walker who died in a car accident during production. The crash wasn't part of filming and most of Walker's scenes had been shot, so his brother stood in for some scenes to wrap up production. Jason Statham is the overly capable baddie hunting down Team Toretto for putting his brother in a coma and according to DT reviewer Josh Wiggler, there are apparently some decent action sequences in the movie. Yeah, go figure. Furious 7 opens tonight and it's PG-13, so bring your mom. She loved Paul Walker. That's it for DT Daily Today. We'll see you next week.